Hello, VZ. This is Carsten, back again. Uh, from my not so analog corner anymore. <laughs> uh, I got this package. Uh, VCLT. <coughs> the love train came from England to, to Denmark. And uh, the person that uh, sent me this VCLT was uh, Tudor. Uh, Tudor Brown. And his uh, YouTube channel name is uh, Tudor. Um, we have been talking a lot about equipment and uh, sound and uh, things like that. And uh, for those of you that uh, don't know Tudor, Tudor is a. Uh, I think it's fair to say that Tudor is the hi fi guru of the VC. He knows a lot about uh, hi fi stuff and equipment and uh, things like that. But uh, one day, uh, I believe it was when I bought this old Philips CD player uh, and I showed it in a, in a video, Tudor uh, wrote back to me and said uh, that maybe I should uh, think about uh, getting some attenuators for the mismatch between uh, the CD player and the, and the amp I had. And I was like, like what? What is this? Uh, and apparently, uh, there's this mismatch uh, between a CD player and an amp. The CD player has a uh, two volt output, and uh, in this case, this amp has a 200 millivolt input. So there's a huge mismatch between a CD player and an amp, and that's just uh, about any. CD player and uh, and any amp. <coughs> so Tudor men mentioned this uh, thing that you could get some actuators uh, to plug onto the to the RCA cables to uh, to dampen uh, the sound or the volume from the CD player to the amp. Because uh, normally when you uh, normally when I play a CD uh, on this that I got recently. Uh, when I play a, a CD in a fairly normal level, I play to the 9 o'clock level and then it's loud, pretty loud. Uh, let me just switch the source here. But now when I use these attenuated uh, RCA cables that I got from Tudor, I can play around at uh, 11 o'clock and it's the same level. So it uh, dampens uh, the, the sound a bit and uh, because it dampens this uh, sound or the output or how you, how you say it, I'm not, uh, I'm not good at this uh, technical English so I hope that the uh, tutor will, will, will make a video uh, about this uh, someday. He had made one and I will make a make a link uh, to the video below, but he doesn't explain this uh, to the to the fullest. But uh, I think he will make one someday. <clears throat> well, uh, back to this VCLT that uh, that he got me, and then I can talk about uh, the the difference in in, in sound afterwards. Um, first of all, he made these RCA cables with some, uh, I believe this uh, wire is uh, uh, almost 100% uh, silver core uh, and then it's uh, weaved in a way that uh, makes it uh, kind of a, a shield but uh, in this end with the, uh, what is that called, shrink uh, rubber uh, in this end, there's a built-in uh, 16 uh, dB attenuated uh, thing. I don't know how he does it, but it's built in in this end. And this end is the way it's, it's the end that you plug into the amp, and then the other end you plug into the CD player, and then you will get this uh, minus 16. Uh, I don't know if it's decibel or what it is uh, to the amp. He also sent me some uh, RCA jumpers. Um, 
I had the, before this amp, I had a, a net amp. I still have it. It's just in my office. Uh, but there's uh, on the what is it? The the pre out. There's these uh, metal jumpers, uh, and he uh, made these for me to use instead. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Then he also sent some. Uh, what is this? I have the note here from Tudor. Uh, this is some, uh, some, is it jack caps? I don't know if it's possible to see it here. To plug on the unused end of the inputs or outputs. It, these are is especially for the outputs, uh, for the analog outputs and the digital in and outputs. And then uh, he puts some of these uh, Ross Andrews noise reduction shorties to plug into the unused inputs on the on the amp, and this is only for the inputs. And uh, then he also included a, a burn-in CD for various things uh, to uh, give your system a shake-up, to burn in equipment and uh, things like that. I haven't uh, checked this out yet. And uh, like Tudor wrote in his uh, pretty long note here, you have to play that from the from beginning to the end. But he also included this uh, pretty long note to, uh, to ex explain uh, what to do with the different stuff. So uh, that's pretty cool. Thank you very much, Tudor. I'm, uh, I'm very very happy about this uh, this VCLC that you sent me. So, uh, but uh, I've, I've actually used these RCA cables for a couple of days now, and uh, I've listened to a lot of CDs. And uh, the way this uh, works is uh, that it's supposed to uh, to sound more clear and detailed uh, because when the amp doesn't have to play this loud at the low volume there will be some uh, some some distortion and some uh, yeah some muddiness and things like that so uh, when it uh, can play a little louder and uh, use some more power then it's uh, supposed to sound more detailed and clear and uh, I have tried it out uh, with both the digital out and then the, the cables so I could sit and switch uh, between sound and, uh, and I've listened to a lot of CDs in these couple of days and uh, I must say there is, a, there is a difference. I may have to turn the, the volume up a lot on the, on the amp but it doesn't matter because the sound really becomes uh, more clear and more detailed. Uh, it's just uh, it's just far less uh, muddy. It's probably the the best way to to uh, to to tell this difference. Uh, before when I played, uh, even though this new Marantz Marantz system sounds fantastic, and it also sounded fantastic with the CD player before I used these. RCA cables because uh, I had some some others that I will show you. I was uh, I was using these uh, pretty high end uh, RCA cables before, and uh, that also sounded uh, fantastic uh, prior to the to the to the other uh, setup I had. But uh, when I put those on. And I played the, the first uh, the first CD. I could hear on the usually the, it's the the voice that uh, sounds muddy and distorted to me, uh, and it was just far more clear. Uh, so uh, all in all, I'm very very happy. I'm going to use this uh, for the rest of my life. I think Tudor. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, Maybe I will uh, ex experiment with uh, with buying uh, some of these uh, inline attenuators and then 
maybe use uh, another cable just to try it out and uh, things like that. But I will use alternators from my CD to my amp uh, from, from now on. That's for sure. So, uh, I mean, I think I will end this uh, video now. And uh, Tudor, I'm very, very happy that you sent this to me. And uh, this must have cost our, our fortune. So thank you very, very much, Tudor. I'm uh, very, very humble and uh, yeah, just thank you so much. So I'm going to uh, enjoy my CDs again now. Uh, they were kind of uh, put a little away uh, lately uh, because I didn't really use to, uh, or listen to CDs. Uh, but uh, I will now, that's for sure. Actually, I have, uh, I have cleared my drawers and uh, I emptied uh, another box so I could uh, fill one of uh, my cabinets that was used for DVDs. I've just uh, filled that up with the CDs, so uh, now all of my CDs are, are out again. So, uh, yeah, and uh, if you are wondering what we are listening to, we are listening to Rodriguez. Six, what is his uh, name? Sixto Rodriguez, fantastic uh, singer-songwriter. Well, uh, that was just uh, a little bit of uh, ramble in the, at the end there. So, uh, well, have a nice Sunday, easy, and thank you again, Judah. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>